In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, you instructed the hearts of those who believe in you by the light of the Holy Spirit. Grant us in the same Spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in His consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. Owe no one anything except to love one another. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandment, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are summed up in this word, love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor, therefore love is the fulfilling of the law. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Reflection St. Paul's letter to the Romans puts this prophetic education and invitation to care for creation in their deepest context. They are expressions of the great commandments that sum everything up. Love God and love your neighbor. All is interdependent. All is interconnected. We cannot say we love God if we do not love our neighbor. We cannot say we love our neighbor if we do not care for the air, the water, the land, the ecological systems, the intricate web of life upon which our neighbors and we depend for life itself. Nor can we say we love God if we do not care for God's gift of creation in all its wonders and richness. We gather all the prayers of our community and present them to the Father with the prayer our Lord Jesus Himself taught us. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day, in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. I offer them for the intentions of your Sacred Heart, in reparation of my sins, and for the intention of our Holy Father, the Pope. Amen. St. Benedict's Prayer for Peace 
Saint Benedict, you were a man of peace. You walked the paths of peace your whole life long and led all who came to you into the ways of peace. Help us, Saint Benedict, to achieve peace. Peace in our hearts, peace in our homes, peace in our sorely troubled world. Through your powerful intercession with God, help us to be peacemakers. Aid us to work for peace, to take the first step in ending bitterness, to be the first to hold out our hands in friendship and forgiveness. Beg God to let peace permeate our lives so that we may live in His grace and love. And at the end of our lives, obtain for us the reward of the peacemakers, the eternal blessed vision of God in heaven. Amen. Oratio Imperata for Deliverance from Calamities Almighty Father, we raise our hearts to you in gratitude for the wonders of creation of which we are a part, for your providence that sustains us in our needs, and for your wisdom that guides the course of the universe. We acknowledge our sins against you and the rest of creation. We have not been good stewards of nature. We have confused your command to subdue the earth. The environment is made to suffer our wrongdoing, and now we reap the harvest of our abuse and indifference. Global warming is upon us. Typhoons, heavy rains, floods, drought, volcanic eruption, and other natural calamities occur in increasing number and intensity. We turn to you, our loving Father, and beg forgiveness for our sins. We ask that we, our loved ones and our hard-earned possessions, be spared from the threat of calamities, natural and human-made. We beseech you to inspire us all to grow into responsible stewards of your creation and generous neighbors to those in need. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Mother of Salvation, pray for us. Our Mother of Salvation, pray for us. Our Mother of Salvation, pray for us. Saint Benedict, pray for us. Saint Scholastica, pray for us. Saint Agnes, pray for us. Praise be Jesus Christ, forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. That in all things, God may be glorified.